So I'm very glad to welcome you um, in, in Göttingen. I'm very glad to welcome you in our historical library building. This is one of two main library buildings that we have in Göttingen, apart from a number of branch libraries. So this is a historical library building where we house all historic collections that are um, older than 1900. And we also use this, as you can see, and you should walk around, not now, but in the breaks. Um, we have an exhibition, ongoing exhibition, uh, about Thomas uh, Meyer, who was a very famous cartographer and mathematician um, in, the, in the 18th century. So it's extensively used um, for very, very um, good um, exhibitions um, as well. I'm, I'm very glad, I have to say, that the sun has come through today because yesterday when we started a number of meetings, it was quite gray. It actually it was good because it was, a working, it was a full working day for us. But I think it's nicer if you come to conference and you see some, some sunshine. So um, before I start, uh, before I keep on chatting, um, I would like to introduce now to you um, Professor Ulrike Bicycle who is the uh, president uh, of Göttingen University uh, to give a welcome um, to the community here, to the Open Air Project, and to our guests. Thank you very much, Elosa, and welcome to all participants of this Open Air Congress. And uh, the minister and I was just uh, chatting and saying we come from a real Open Air event on a, from a construction site, and so even though so the sun is out, it's rather cold, so we are glad your open air event is inside. And uh, certainly my special welcome goes to you, Professor Wanka, the Minister of Science and Culture here in Lower Saxony. As a math mathematician, I think uh, you might be even closer to the subject than myself, but uh, I'm sure you are open to the topic. Uh, I'm glad that you are here, Director of Excellence of the European uh, Community, uh, Thierry van der Poel, we just said hello and I'm uh, welcoming you in particular. So let me start definitely with a thank to you, uh, Norbert Lossau, who has not only organized the program uh, of the whole open air concept and the conference here now, but also introduced me into the world of open access. And that is, uh, was, I'm really grateful for that. And uh, the free access to scientific information is certainly that what we need today. And it's a clear aim of this concept of this open air project here. And let me just make a couple of remarks to uh, what our university did uh, in, in terms of open access in the last years. And there I have to start actually with my predecessor because I only work here as a president since two years. So that means in already 2005, there was a letter of the university president at that time, Professor von Figura, uh, he encouraged to public in open access. 2007, uh, the Foundation Council statement uh, came out to continue and to step up the implementation of open access. And I think that was rather early. If I think about my university, where I had been before in Hamburg, I think we were not in the same way uh, encouraged and uh, we didn't process it that fast. In 2009, the deans um, of, the f of some faculties did a statement for open access. So there was a step-by-step -step process for this university uh, the university, which is 275 years old. We have an anniversary this year, our 275th anniversary. So what do you need? You need certainly infrastructure, and that is mainly provided by the state and university library. Uh, the director you all know is Norbert uh, Lossau. And uh, so there, it was important that the publication fund was given to publish in open access journals. There was Go Scholar as a university's institutional repository, and also the university press was uh, open to publish in uh, open access books. And 
national and international activities which were important for us or which we are looking at in a way are the national information platform open access net which is hosted in, in Göttingen, used by universities, by the Max Planck Society, and all other non-university scientific institutions in Germany, including the Helmholtz Foundation. No, the Helmholtz Society, not the foundation. <laughs> and uh, initially it was funded by the DFG, uh, the German Research uh, Council, and there was a collaboration effort with the universities in Berlin, Bielefeld, Konstanz, and Göttingen. So the whole area of information infrastructure uh, has been recognized by German board, so to say, that is uh, the German Council of Science and Humanities. On one side, there was a, a recommendation for the development of scientific infrastructure and information infrastructure. And as a member of uh, uh, the German Council of Science and Humanities, I had a chance to get my first lectures before uh, Norbert Lossers could teach me further on. The DFG has a position paper on digital transformation, and uh, so I think the, the bodies in the science bodies in Germany are certainly up to the topic. topic. And since I learned so much when I came here, uh, and I realized how important it is to not only have the open access, uh, but to, to also have the suitable information infrastructure, uh, with the help of uh, Norbert Lossau and some other colleagues, we developed a concept of e-research, enhanced research, and we also developed a campus concept, because what I need to tell you is that uh, we have a very special situation here in Göttingen, and that is that we have the research, Göttingen Research Campus. That means that the university is in a very close collaboration with five Max Planck institutions, one Leibniz Institute, one Helmholtz uh, Institute, and the Academy of Sciences. And this research uh, campus has a council, a government body, and with that we decided to go for really a big uh, step in uh, research and information infrastructure uh, to have a, a common structure with all of those institutions, a campus structure, and I hope very much that we will get money for that uh, from the government. I know that the state government is supporting us heavily in that activities, but we need more money and we need some money from the uh, federal government, and I think if we are successful with that, we will be even more uh, able to go on with what we need in information infrastructure. And so I thank you again, Herr uh, it, It's very important for us. And uh, I wish you all here a very interesting open discussion, an open air discussion. I hope that you see some uh, air outside that you can see the sun. And I have to announce one thing, and that is tomorrow I was uh, planned to be in the panel discussion. Uh, and I have a very good excuse not to be there. And that is, uh, Norbert Losser just last week was uh, elected to be my vice president, vice president for infrastructures. And so I asked him whether he would be ready to start his office with representing me tomorrow in the discussion. And that is certainly good for you because I am absolutely convinced that I couldn't have any better person to replace me tomorrow in that discussion because I'm a scholar. I mean, I learned a lot from you, but I think you are still better in discussion yet. So I hope you excuse me tomorrow, and I wish you a very nice uh, stay here in Göttingen. <laughs>